Alexandra, like you just came to play. And I love Jocelyn King. She's like the, our spiritual guru in Malibu. No, I loved it. I, I think given the political climate that we're in and all this stuff, it, it, it was so great to kind of escape and, and kind of shed a little bit of light on that, right? You know, and hopefully people watching will kind of be like, okay, that is a little bit cuckoo, you know? Linda Pearl, uh, Suzanne Mercer, like, can you tell me anything about that? Where did you, where did you, you came with this unbelievable character? Well, first of all, the, the, it was in the writing. So Kellyanne Conway at the time was more in the news than she was, and she strikes me as a fairly outrageous character. I just thought I would highlight that with a little flavor of Zsa Zsa Gabor and, and Ann Richards and kind of see what what the mix was. But I found it also playing her very cathartic. I rely on comics across the board um, to help me laugh at, at our situation. So that's one of the things that I, I really love about this show. Like Chester is, Chester is your alter ego, I'm pretty sure, you know. Um, <laughs> you crystallized my life eloquently, I, I might add. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, we we go to the to the core of some issues you know i was talking to a friend and i was just wondering i said i wonder if we didn't have 30 seasons of jerry springer i wonder what the perception of trans people would be today right if we didn't have those negative stereotypes and then i also think and what i love about this show is that you know you know you you do have the diversity right you you have a person of color on this show and who also happens to be trans but the character is in trans and um i think that that's so important because it, there just needs to be more right the reality of what's going on i mean there is a, a a nut basket i mean she's off her rocker um she's lost her in marbles um <laughs> i think it was a david mamet play and it was one of those it just offended everybody. It was it's sort of like of Mormon did, you know, it just poked fun at everyone. And I found the net result was when we went out with, you know, friends after seeing this play is that we could talk about everything because all the ice had been broken. And it created an entry, an entry point, which is one of the incredibly essential uh, functions of, of art. Growing up with All in the Family, and seeing that as I was growing up and Norman Lear starting that dialogue of, of basically Archie Bunker. I mean, it was so shocking at first, you know, but, the, but it was crafted so well and the characters were acted so well, you know, that it became a phenomenon and it, you know, elevated comedy to the next level in a highly politically charged climate as we are now, because, you know, we're, we're here again. <laughs>